Hello everyone and welcome to iExambi. In this video, I am going to talk about NABARD Grade AIT Office of Phase 2 and uh, I am bringing some kind of uh, paragraph based questions which are asked in NABARD IT examination and they are of two marks uh, MCQ questions. So I will first explain the pattern of the question and then I will show you some questions and we can together attempt those questions and check how much clarity you have in attempting that particular concept and how much you are comfortable with the particular pattern. So first of all, talking about the pattern, the pattern will be like you will be having a paragraph. That paragraph will contain some missing information. Either you have to find those missing information in the question asked below them or you have to find the concept of which the paragraph is talking about. So basically everything will be revolving around that paragraph only and that paragraph will be technical in nature based on one technology. You have to understand the technology, what the paragraph is talking about and then answer the questions. Many a times the paragraphs are easy because it gives you a lot of information so that you can guess and you can get a lot of hint of what topic they are talking about but sometimes the missing information can be hard to understand if you don't know the topic beforehand. So now let's try to attempt some questions to get the better understanding. So here the first question is based on this paragraph. So first let's understand the paragraph and then we will attempt the question. So this particular paragraph is having five missing uh, fill in the blanks and you have to fill those blanks in the questions that are being asked. So this particular paragraph is talking about a list which is in Python that we can understand by reading the first line of the paragraph that a list is a collection of different kinds of values or items. Since Python lists are dash, we can dash their element after forming. Now, this is the first uh, blank that you have to fill. So let's move to the first question. Here the first question is talking that fill the blank number one. So here you can see since Python lists are dash, mutable, immutable, replicated or unique. So Python lists are mutable. So if you know the property of Python list, you will be able to answer this question without the paragraph as well. So the thing is like you should know the concept. The question can be asked in different format, but you should know the concept so that it will not be difficult for you to answer it in single based questions or descriptive questions or these kinds of paragraph based technical questions. So here the correct answer will be mutable. Since the list are mutable, we can dash their element after forming. So if something is mutable, they can be changed. And then the correct blank in number two will be changed. Looking at the option only, you can easily identify the correct answer is D. Now let's understand the say, other lines. Let's move to the paragraph, uh, second paragraph. Although six Python data types can hold sequences, the list is more common and reliable form. A list is a type of sequence data is used to store the collection of data. In contrast to the programming language, Python lets you use dash indexing as well. The negative indexes are counted from dash. So now this particular indexing is talking about something else. And here the next line is giving you the answer that it is talking that the negative indexes. So here the answer in the blank number three will be negative. And if you see the question, the answer is negative only. Because in Python with the list, you can have negative indexing as well. That is the unique feature that is provided for the slicing and dicing of the list. Now, coming to the fourth uh, thing here, the negative indexes are counted from dash. So in which direction they are being counted, that is being asked in blank number four and the answer will be right. So when you count from the right side, the negative indexing will be followed. From the left, it will be positive. And when you start counting from the right hand side, it will be negative indexing. Now, let's quickly move to the last paragraph. Due to their mutability and the slice and assignment operator's ability to update their values, lists are the Python's most adaptable data structure. Python dash method can also add values to the list. So this fifth one, what should be the correct answer? Let's go to the question. And now for doing any operation, what kind of operations are provided in the list, the correct answer will be append and insert. So if you are not sure about both these things, you either will take B or C, but both of them are correct. So A will be the correct answer. Now, if you refill this particular thing in the fifth space, you will get it more uh, clear. 
Python's insert and append methods can also add values to the list. So this is the way how you can attempt the questions which are asked in the paragraph based technical questions. You should have the understanding of the concept. That is the first thing. If you don't have the understanding of Python list, let's say for this particular question, you will not be able to answer any of the five questions. So there is a paragraph, but that paragraph will not always help. You may attempt one or two questions without knowing the un, like the concept, but yes, it will be very difficult if you don't know the concept. So try revising the concepts. Don't run behind what um, type of questions you have attempted or not. First, try to gather the concept, revise everything before the exam, and then attempt as many kind of questions you can. Now, let's have a second question. And this particular question is based on blockchain, very small, and it is having only two things. So you guys can attempt this question uh, you can pause the video, can attempt the question. I have already provided you the answer. And we have two and three more paragraphs based on this. So this third particular question is on this digital signature. Then we have the next question on the clouds. So the description will have the PDF of this particular uh, uh, series of questions. And you guys can download that PDF and can attempt the questions. Make sure you revise everything, whatever you have learned till now, so that you don't fall back on the concepts. So that was all from my side. If you like this video and you found this all information very helpful, please like this video and increase our motivation to bring such more videos in future so that we can help you a lot before your examination. So next week is your examination. And uh, with that thing, all the best to all of you who are preparing for NABAT phase two. And Keep practicing and stay updated till we bring the next video. Thank you, everyone.